Welcome, friends, both to Weekly Wordplay and 2021. This is Stephanie from Apex Languages. It's been a while since we've done an episode on idioms, but I wanted to pick a special theme for the new year. One concept that best describes my hopes for 2021. In a word, I decided on heal. That's what I believe we all need now more than anything else. Time to heal. The world needs to heal from this pandemic, and this country needs to heal from the poison that's been tearing us apart. We've all been affected in different ways, some much worse than others, but everyone has something in their life that needs mending or fixing. And I hope with all my heart that you can find whatever you need to make that happen. Are we, as a nation, as a world, on the mend? I don't know. I don't have that answer for you. Things don't look great at the moment, but only time will tell. What I do have for you right now, though, is a couple of new idioms with your name on them, ready for unpacking. So, as I've already implied, on the mend is an idiom, one in the form of a prepositional phrase. When people are on the mend, it means that they are getting better or recovering their health after having been sick for a while. I'm glad to see she's on the mend after the accident. You really only see it used after the verb to be, so keep that in mind. That's a sign that a phrase is pretty well fossilized in the language, like a dinosaur, when it no longer has the flexibility of, ironically, good health. You see, the noun mend, as used here, is virtually extinct in modern English. There is another, also rare variant, that means something else, but mend is no longer a synonym for remedy or cure, as it once was, from the Latin emendere, to correct or free from fault. It does, however, continue to thrive as a verb, meaning to fix or repair. Most commonly, you mend clothing or toys. I needed to find a tailor to mend my jacket after a tour. Uh, sad but true. Once you're all better, back to excellent health, you could say you feel as fit as a fiddle and ready to play. Repeat that with me. Fit as a fiddle. Fit as a fiddle. Fit as a fiddle. Fiddle is another word for violin, the instrument here. It comes from Old English, so naturally the Latin alternative is considered more cultured. Fiddlers are for country folk. Violins, interestingly, were named after the Roman goddess of joy, Bitula. That's a pretty good name to give your new instrument, if you ask me. Nonetheless, fiddle has given us a variety of fun, nonsense words as well, like fiddle-faddle and fiddlesticks. Either usually used by themselves as interjection means you're being ridiculous. Stop wasting my time. Fit, among other things, means healthy, in shape. I can also describe something or someone as being appropriate or capable, i.e. fit for the job. A few more options for bragging about your good health include being the picture of health and feeling like you're on top of the world. Surgery was rough, but a few weeks later, I felt as fit as a fiddle. The picture of health, I was on top of the world. That last one for the record can also just mean that you're really, really happy. These next two are really more sayings than idioms. Entire sentences unto themselves, yet they're still good health-related turns of phrase to know. The first one, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, is referring to the units of measurement, ounce, pound. It means that a little bit of prevention or precaution just being safe is worth more than a lot of medicine later. It'll save you trouble. This is such a good phrase to keep in mind nowadays, particularly as we all, hopefully, do our little parts to prevent 
COVID from spreading and getting worse. Wearing your mask, washing your hands, and staying home as much as possible are all ounces of prevention. Little inconveniences that are much better than the pound of cure we would need if we or loved one got sick. You're more likely to have heard this next one. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. This catchy jingle, it was basically a public service announcement during the 1860s, originated as eat an apple on going to bed and you'll keep the doctor from earning his bread. Bread meaning money. Why do apples hate doctors so much? Well, we'll probably never know, but what most people mean when they say it is eat healthy so that you don't get sick. Just one more ounce of prevention, right? Finally, for something a little different, I give you spin doctor, which sounds medical, but isn't. Repeat it with me. Spin doctor, spin doctor, spin doctor. This is actually a very modern idiom, only dating back to the 1984 election campaigns of Ronald Reagan, our other Hollywood president. In that new age of sound bites, the media wanted a term for publicists who were experts at turning or spinning bad news into good. Press agents who could convert a crowd of reporters to their side. If you want, you can just use spin as a noun or verb, meaning respectively one's own personal bias or trying to trick others to agree with you. Spinning a yard, you spin wool to make thread, is a much older idiom for telling fictional stories, by the way. That's enough new words for today. As always, I recommend that you give them a spin and try writing a sentence or two of your own. You can post them here in the comments or an email to yours truly. And of course, I always welcome synonyms or other related phrases that you find and you want to share with everyone. Thank you for watching. Check out more videos at apexlanguages.com. Here's hoping you're all the picture of health or at least on the mend. That's not fiddle faddle. Seriously though, stay happy, healthy, safe, and as far away from the spin doctors as you can.